long shot and it hurts. I mean, you mean the campaign? I mean, the, okay, the campaign story is not good. The campaign gameplay is okay. I, it doesn't, I heard other people really like it. I really love the sandbox part of it, but it feels like the campaign story is not good. It's not offensive like Halo 5's was, where it's just like it botched a bunch of characters from the extended universe. Like, Halo Infinite's campaign story to me isn't bad because it's offensive or just like it ruins stuff. It's bad because there's like, it feels like nothing happens. Everything that did happen, happened before the campaign even started. <laughs> like, the downfall of Cortana, again, happened off-screen. Cortana's death happened off-screen. The whole war with uh, Atriox thing basically happened for two minutes before the campaign started. Uh, basically, everything cool that happened either happened before the campaign started or off screen and the only cool thing you could look forward to in the campaign they leave on a cliffhanger and you have no explanation for any of it it's like bro why it's like you tease the endless the entire game and then you kill one of them and then she's like oh but but it's too late they're they're coming back now and then they don't come back it's like for a creature part of a species supposedly worse than the flood to the point that the forerunners would basically censor and erase any mention of their existence you kind of just seem like a normal alien that i could just kill by punching you can't name drop worse things than the flood and then have the first one you meet be completely normal and okay like just a normal alien species like all the others nothing special about them well fun thing i, I didn't like... play the campaign is that I, huh? I didn't want to pay for it 60 bucks like the campaign i would buy on sale for at most 45, I would recommend 30. Well, what is it? The dollars to euros are about the same right now, right? Oh, I don't I really know. But basically, I mean, the equivalent of like $30, probably. Yeah, that's probably the most I, I would get it for, anyways. Because, like, you know, for like 20, was it 20, 20 bucks, I think, on sale, I, I got like all the games. And it's like, mm -hmm. hey, do you want to pay 60 for just one? And by the way, people are complaining about it. <laughs> and by the way, the multiplayer is free and it's good. Oh, and yeah. And the campaign doesn't actually get you anything for the multiplayer, really, other than some really not good looking skins. Yeah. So like, I'm like, why would I want to fight some bots since the since what I've heard from the campaign is, is it's just like Halo, but open world and without like big story beats. It's like no big story beats. <laughs> no story like set pieces most of the cool story stuff happens off screen or before the campaign even starts so all the campaign really is is just a bunch of repetitive like side quests and oh go do this missions yeah. but the good th oh that and it all takes place in one tiny chunk of a halo ring instead of like a bunch of different biomes so it all starts looking really samey but there, uh, the good thing about it is it is the most sandboxy Halo game like ever. It feels like y you can pretty much like approach every situation in the game however you want. And it feels really cool. Because <laughs> like, you know, I want to try this out today. And then you do. And it's just like... You can get a Razorback of, like, six Marines, all with, like, crazy stupid weapons, and then just see what they do, and it's really fun to watch. Yeah, one, one thing that annoys me is that I've always heard about, like, the Razorback being able to carry, like, six people, and then I go into, into uh, a big team battle match, 
and I, I honk and I wait for people to come in. I'm like, hey, dude, don't you want to be the fifth member to join? And he's like, no, it's capped at four in the, the multiplayer. Aww. Because the Spartans are yeah. too big or something, I don't know. It's like, you've, you've clearly got two really empty spots heavy. in the back. Yeah. It's, no, it's just because they spread their legs out. <laughs> like, bro, okay. Uh, I'm in Splitgate and... Okay. And by the way, we're live on Twitch. Ugh. Oh. Oh, hi, Twitch. I huh. forgot about that. Okay. I'm not good at the game, though. It's fine. Steam friends. How do I... Because, like, what? Because, like, Twitch is for uh, for being good or something? Yeah, Twitch is for being good and entertaining. I am neither good nor entertaining. Well, it's fine. Because I've got neither viewers nor live chatters. <laughs> um... Okay, I sent a Splitgate friend request. Splitgate. Oh wait, no, I can just request. join through Steam. Question mark. <laughs> Let me fire up the game. Hold on, PC. Okay. 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 Here we go. Let's see what what happens. Let's go. Wow, Splitgate Beta Season Two. Wow. Why, why the frick is NVIDIA bothering me? Splitgate is a trademark or registered trademark of one of 47 games. <laughs> My voice is kind of tired. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> I still don't have the green SMG skin, are you? Get 15 headshot kills. Automatically calibrating really settings. Whoa, it's a mini tutorial. Okay, okay. Oh fuck, it's in WASD. Good. Uh, let me let me just um, change frame rate limit FOV. Okay, that's a very weird menu. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, I have multiple issues with the game. First up, the whoa, hold on. Why the heck the sliders don't have an end? Like you can't see the end of the sliders. It's just like, hey, say ho, however much you want, bro. And why is it not uh, like ZQSD by default? I am French, please. Or, <laughs> Stop. Thank you. That Stop, Google. Oh, I forgot the keyboard layouts are different. If you're trying to wake up, you Google, stop. Your wake -up routine. Stop, Google. Uh, move forward. Hold on. It's always annoying because I gotta look through the whole menu to see like if, if the A is bound to anything before I unbound it by mapping the forward key. Uh, Q, shoot left portal. That's gonna be annoying. Okay, so basically I can tell you like what the... I mean obviously you like already know how to like rebind stuff, but essentially Q and E are your portals. So when it comes to your letter keys, that'd be your top left and then skip one and right. So, actually, yeah. here, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll translate Z. it. What's the... No, 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 I, I can't... No, I know what to invert. It's just like, it's just like, you can't just like, yeah, uh, only map the, um, you know, the movement keys. Because then, with, with, like, maybe if you had something mapped to, like, say, Q, you know, which is like the A key for me, and I map, a, uh, like, Q to the movement, and then, well, I'm missing the portal button, you know, so I gotta look in advance if I see any of the things. Uh, oh, yeah, basically... Uh, okay, so Azerty, is that like the keyboard layout you guys have? Yeah, no, but don't worry, I, 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 I'm doing it. Uh, close okay. left portal, close right portal, okay. And then I do the do, 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 oh fuck. Strip left, move forward, okay. Anything else? Uh, no. Should be good. okay, okay, toggle sprint. Ooh, ouch, no. Toggle zoom, no. Toggle crouch, no. Uh, sure. Uh, apply the settings. Escape. New video walkthrough. Press 
enter to view. No. Wow, I know how to walk. Why is the audio cutting out every five seconds? Uh, jump. Jetpack your first platform. Oh, we got jetpack. Fuck. Arbine. Press F to pick up. Why F? Oh, because E and stuff is taken. Uh, so rifle. One thing that's gonna be really awkward is uh, there's no sliding. All right, yeah, but there's jetpack instead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with there not being sliding. It... Well, yeah, but it's like it looks like Halo Infinite, and I'm like, hey, I want to slide. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. slide. This game makes like, you think nope. more of like Fortnite than it does Halo. <laughs> so like. Well, Fortnite yeah, in terms of the assets, doesn't... yeah, maybe. You know, it's supposed to be the hill. What, what, what do I need to do? Portals, portals. I, oh, portals. Hello. That's probably one of the things about this game that, like, I don't like. Is that it kind of feels like it's trying to be Halo Portal, but Fortnite, which I don't like. Fortnite, but the gameplay is fun enough that, like, I'll, you know, I'll make do. Like, whatever. Okay. <laughs> And some of the cosmetics are neat, especially like the battle pass ones this season. Uh, whoa. I want to remap my uh, portal keys to the side keys, unless unless I don't, because I need to have my side keys for a thing, which is called the punching. Punching is good. I like to punch. Space bar. My eyes are dying. Or brightness. Brightness, please. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, increase brightness. Can I change split gate? Camera. Oh, that's funny. The exe of a split gate is called Portal Wars. Uh, inspect, interact, grenade. Here. Okay. Punching. Is punching important in this game? Can you even punch? Yeah, it's it's a two punch kill. Like it does fifty damage each punch. Okay. I don't get like why games have uh, two mappings, like one for next weapon and one for previous weapon when you're capped at two weapons anyways. Yeah. So, I like if they give you the option like two buttons for it or just one. Like, uh, for example, in... Like it's nice you can have like, you know, one for one, two for two. It sounds just like a single like mouse roll. Scroll click, that's what I meant. Well, yeah, but you already got like uh, two slots for the for the switch weapon. Oh yeah, if you only yeah, I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, pause, escape, tab, scoreboard, and chat. Show one. Push to talk. Whether oh no, push to talk is on B. Thank you. Push to 
does even tell you. No, it doesn't even tell you. That's the thing. Uh, whenever you switch keybinds and the keybind was assigned to something else, it doesn't tell you anything. So it's like, K, okay, figure it out, bro. Um, amazing. Oh, build mode. Build mode? Like in, in uh... Yep, Fortnite? this game has Forge before... I was gonna say Fortnite, but okay, Forge. Yeah, I never tried Forge. Like, uh, it seems cool. I think, especially the, the leaks from Halo Infinite. Forge, if done right, can save infinite. That's how huge it can be. Like, essentially, supposedly there are sixteen Forge maps that could come out with season three. 16. There aren't even that many maps in Halo Infinite right now total across Arena and Big Team. Darn. So if Season 3 comes out, like, I right, here's 16 Forge maps. It'd be just a little bit massive. Thing is, Halo Infinite's huge number one problem right now is that it has no content. Sorry, it has content. It just has barely any. And it's an guns. extremely super slow drip feed. So if Forge comes out, custom games works, and there's a file share, Halo Infinite could basically be saved until 343 finally makes like their own content. It would be... If Forge comes out, and it's missing like the file share, and they don't add Forge maps into matchmaking, it's basically almost a lost cause at that point. Just awful to say, but like, man, we need it so bad. <laughs> Thinking about the keybinds, what keybinds do I use? Uh, I use pretty much mostly the default keybinds. I like I don't think I changed any of them. Yeah. Other than like sensitivity. I I'm uh I like some pretty specific keybinds across every game. Cuz like you know Doom Eternal uh used me to using my my thumb mouse button to punch. So, like I need that to punch. Kinda screws me up though when I play like uh, games like Apex or Titan. No, not Titan because it's a one hit. But, like Apex, you do 30 damage. It's useless basically, and it's like I have this reflex punch. Uh, my mouse button. Yeah, uh, I have different bindings for games too. Like Halo Infinite, I pretty much mostly play on controller. I've been trying a bit of PC recently, but like on controller, I have. Uh, one of those, there's like a bunch of different buttons on it, like the extra paddles on the back and all that. So like in Halo Infinite, I run a bumper jumper, but then I have my left stick, my left stick click and right stick click bound to paddles on the back, so I never have to click them. So essentially my entire control scheme for Halo Infinite is completely different. <laughs> like, the only, yeah, the only button that actually does the same thing as it does normally so like two buttons that do the same as they do normally would be the y button and the right trigger everything else is different my left bumper is jump my a button is sprint my x is equipment my b is reload <laughs> like oh i should okay a couple more things are the same but armory weapon not care I the Q's on E. E's. It's E. E. Interact. F. E. Okay. Inspect. No. No. N. Oh, you know what I wish existed? Which I'm probably like, if I ever do a launcher for my games or stuff, I'm, I'm gonna have that. It's like, a default configuration 
that you can save to your profile and it works across every game you know so like if a game has a punch function and it calls to the punch call like layout where you put it then it's gonna be that key so like you can basically have everything working from the get-go that'd be super neat can you repeat that i'm sorry i kind of blanked out like i i was listening but then my brain lost it it's like Imagine you had uh, your keybinds assigned to your like Steam profile or something, and whenever you download oh. a new game, it just assigns, like it pulls from your keybinds. It's like you're or, already or it's set like up. An optional thing a developer can take advantage of. Yeah, like, exactly. You know, so Steam no, you're forced to use it. You're forced keybinds. to use it. You didn't have to. <laughs> Well, this I mean, is like, not an option. Be very different. Like Splitgate, for example, would be a game that probably can't use like a default shared keybind why because, not because you know it has because has two different portal things like people will usually put say you have two different side mouse thing. buttons works well not everyone has multiple side mouse buttons like a lot of and they call themselves a gamer <laughs> basically i mean is if it's a <laughs> if it's a default thing you need to basically take into mind what most people have so, like, uh, if there was a default thing, sorry, a default shooter set up on Steam. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, sorry. So, I mean, like, if there is a melee button, then it will, like, go to your Steam presets. In that case, I guess in that case, what it could do is it would bind everything to your preset defaults, and then it'd be like, hey, so we have your defaults set up. But there are these other keys that aren't set, and then you can set them now. And then you can like change it manually from there. Essentially, it speeds up the process. Then, okay. Sorry, my brain is all sorts of funky right now.
All right, so you beat the tutorial. Good. That taught you the basics of Splitgate. But as you keep playing with portals, you'll learn and invent a lot of creative ways to outshoot and outsmart your opponents. We hope you'll enjoy Splitgate as much as we do. And that's it for now. Nothing to it but to do it. See you in the arena. Stay sharp and keep moving. Kara's trying to teach me a drawing thing right now, and I think I'm just either not understanding it, or she didn't understand what I said when I was, like, trying to figure out something. After we're done with Splitgate, I'm gonna try and finish up my first art fight attack, and it's just like, I have to draw, like, fluff and, like, fur for part of something, but, like, I don't know how to do that. Not, not hair, like, I'm still bad at hair, but I kind of figured it out. I mean, like, wearing kind of like a little necklace made out of, like, fluff. Oh wait, are you still there? Oh my god, did he BRB and I not notice? Like a dumbass. Oh. Four, three, two, one. Fiesta Dominus. Have I closed? Thank you. 